in this recap we are mainly focus what two topic that's a very important topic actually that's the basics of all topics that's actually organic chemistry some basic principles okay some basic principles and technique that is general organic chemistry and hydrocarbons ready so in first chapter first chapter goc general organic chemistry mainly we have to learn iupsc nomenclature okay then isomerism then reaction mechanism each portions are important and that is whenever we are elaborating a lot of concepts are there if you know the reaction mechanism then only you can apply that reaction mechanism ideas in the uh, grade 12 chapters like alcohol phenol ethers halo alkane halo arenes aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid amines even in or hydrocarbon correct yeah so the next uh, purification and characterization of organic compounds that are the four important topics you have to focus mainly in that itself first of all we are looking about the iupsc nomenclature you learned many many ideas about the nomenclature iupsc nomenclature in that iupsc nomenclature first whenever we are writing that prefix we have to write first prefix prefix means always that represent the branch and then word root word root represent the number of carbon atom this one meth two eth that idea you know okay i am not going to waste your time okay see whenever primary suffix primary suffix means that represent saturation or unsaturation okay saturation of carbon carbon bond if it is double bonded means alkene if it is all are single bond means ane double bond means ene and triple bond means what yne in structure if the terminal groups are similar similar if it is similar ch3 ch double bond ch single bond ch double bond ch single bond ch3 both are similar see this one this one are similar then what you will do you will count the number of carbon atom number of double bond on carbon atom double bond here one here one so n equal to 2 number of double bond equal to 2 number of double bond equal to 2 means that is what that's a even number if it is even number means the number of isomers is equal to the formula 2 raised to n minus 1 2 raised to n minus 1 plus 2 raised to p minus 1 n is double bond so 2 raised to 2 minus 1 plus 2 raised to p minus 1 p is what P equal to n by 2 when even number. So n by 2 means that is 1. So 1 minus 1. So that is actually 2 raised to 0. So 2 raised to 1 plus 2 raised to 0. That means 2 plus 1. 3 will be coming like that. If it is even number means P we have to take it as n plus 1 by 2. Idea okay?